Good morning, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? Yes, this is a morning post, so I'm a little more energized. Good morning, my name is Sylvia Smith of Incline Training Consultants Limited. And it is a Thursday, Thursday before Good Friday which is tomorrow and uh, this is all leading up to the Easter holidays so we're gonna have a couple of weeks of of slow down activity in old London town schools will be off for a couple of weeks lots of folk will be taking um, vacation it's this sort of for some people it's a great time of year to take their first vacation if they have more than one um, holiday per year um, and of course it is leading up to April which I understand from my son this morning Adrian that um, is going to be a pretty wet one so our temperatures have gone up slightly here but the rain is going to visit us on a fairly consistent basis throughout April hey ho it is what it is um, so yeah, I'm here this morning just um, on my way to see my student. Um, she's on placement in Acton, so I'm going to do a quick, well not quick, but a, a supervision, supervision session with her. And uh, after that, I make my way across to the Tavistock Clinic, where I'm also part of... Um, a, teach a teaching team on uh, some of the social work uh, programs. They're actually not called social work programs, but it's essentially for sort of experience social workers who who want to further their training. Some of them want to do uh, MAs. Uh, others are sort of working towards their doctorates. Um, so yeah, it's great to be involved in kind of supporting those folk, doing my bit for the profession in terms of giving back. Um, so yeah, that's what um, I'll be doing this morning. So what do I want to talk about today? Well, I don't have a specific agenda. This is still me trying to be consistent on online in front of the camera. Um, I was... I was watching again a couple of um, YouTube videos and um, I was also sort of undertaking further training. Um, Elite Marketing Pro, which I have partnered with to uh, provide uh, businesses with sort of online skills. Or skills to take their businesses online I should say um, they offer a lot of training on various issues various topics so last night I started um, I started a training on um, thing uh, I think it, it's called 10 minute traffic training and basically the training is all about uh, teaching you how to how to attract traffic to you, your product, your services. Um, so there's quite a lot of detail involved and the way I've chosen to tackle, to tackle it is to do a little bit each day. Um, the course itself has several modules and there is absolutely no way I can consume all of that in one sitting. So the approach has been, or will be, to do a little bit each day until I get to the end. Um, and by planning it that way, I can um, consume a bit of the training, uh, but also continue to attend to building my business. So it's kind of working in parallel. You're training, but you're also taking action um, on things such as um, you know, Facebook engaging with uh, 
with your audience or your followers. So you're learning and building at the same time, which I think is a good. I think is a good approach. Um, you know, there, there is a sort of temptation to just sit there and uh, you know take in all this stuff, which then potentially leads to a bit of overwhelm which then potentially leads to you actually not doing anything because it all feels a bit too much to do. So I do like the whole approach of um, consuming, but also taking action alongside that, uh, that learning. So that's how I'm approaching it. And I think that's probably a good way to approach a lot of things. I know certainly when I was when I was doing my formal studies, I had to continue working. You know, and I had to continue working quite hard because, uh, you know, I'm the the main uh, income earner. Um, well, in all honesty, it's just my son and I. So, but I'm the main income earner, and I. I needed to continue working and um, working quite hard so that was that was part of what my life was about when I studied uh, working and studying working and studying working and studying uh, at times it felt as though I'd never get to the end of it uh, but eventually I did and uh, managed to achieve my my um, academic goals and uh, you know, really, really proud of the fact that I managed to do that, um, and managed to keep on working. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, and there were times when financially things were really, really, really quite tough. Um, and there were times when I questioned, you know, what on earth am I doing all this for? Life would be far easier if I just settled down. Uh, into a job and left all this studying lark to one side but it was something I really wanted to do um, it was something I really wanted to achieve so I just kept at it um, I was listening to another online mentor yesterday talking about you know talking a bit about well how do you remain motivated how do you stay motivated when clearly there are times when you just feel stuck. Well, his advice, and, and I kind of concur with that, is that you you just get on and do it anyway. The quality may not always be there, but just keep the momentum going. Um, you know, just keep on going, and uh, you know, you get you get there. Not easy, not easy at all. Um, but you know, so many things that are worth doing are not easy in life and you know that's been that's been part of my mantra for, for some time so that's all I have for you today um, I don't know when you're gonna watch this but if you are watching it really close to this particular season it is Easter so I'm gonna wish you a good Easter if you celebrate it if, even if you don't you know, it's a good excuse to get together with family and friends and uh, relax and uh, switch off from from work for a while. So enjoy yourselves. And uh, I'm sure at some point over the next few days, I will be doing some more posting because again, I will switch off from my day job for a while and uh, it will give me more of an opportunity to do some um, enjoyable stuff here so do take care have yourself a brilliant day and as I always say my brothers and sisters peace